When filming your videos, you want to control as many environmental variables as possible. Background noise can be a huge issue with even relatively quiet noises from devices like air conditioners or fans and louder noises like maybe a computer that's on in the room. They not only lower the quality of your videos, they can also be quite distracting. In this video, we'll cover how to easily remove or drastically reduce any constant background noise that might be in your video. To show you what I mean, I've got a fan on here in the room with me, which isn't something that you'd normally have on while you're filming. But it's hot today, and this is also a good example for the video. So this is the unadjusted audio right now. And now future Justin has switched it off in post-production and back on and back off. You get the point, here's how to do it. So we're either gonna use your raw footage off your camera or you can export your video from your video editing software. And the software we're gonna to use to tidy up the audio is called Audacity. It's a free program, so I'll open that now. And I'll put a link in the description below for where you can download it. And we'll open up your video file. Audio example. So this is our audio file, which is actually the video that you can see on the screen behind. We'll just make this a bit bigger. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just zoom in on our audio timeline here. View, zoom in, view, zoom in. So what we're looking for is a section like this where we can see that there is some background noise. So there's no talking, the talking is this part here. But when, in between when I don't talk, you can actually see that there, this isn't a flat straight line. So there is some background noise going on there. Whereas this, there's no noise there. So we've selected a portion of noise, background noise. Now we can come up here to effect and choose noise reduction. Now we wanna click this here to get the noise profile. So it says select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out and then click get noise profile. So we'll click that now and it does its little analyzing. So the next step is it's important to deselect that section that we've selected. So just, just click somewhere else off on your timeline there. And now we go back up to effect and we choose noise reduction. And a good place to start is with the default settings. Um, you can click preview to do a preview, um, but I'm just going to click OK and you can see what happens. So it runs through, does its thing, and you can see now straight away that it has reduced that noise level to next to nothing. So then all we need to do is export this audio back out into our video. So we can go File, Export Audio and a WAV file will be fine. You could also choose an MP3 or any other type of audio file and we'll hit save. And then you can come back to your editing software and import the file that we've just created, the audio example, there it is, a WAV file. There it is and drop that audio back in. You'll see it's the exact length of our video and you'll also see that if we zoom in on here, if we zoom in here, that the differences between the background noise level. So this one is our new one and it's showing next to nothing, whereas there was some background noise there from the fan that I had on. So then all you need to do is mute or turn off that track, the top one there, or you can delete everything that's in it and then you can export your video from there. This isn't to say that you could now film with background noise and plan to clean it up every time in your editing. Always fix as many issues as you can while you're filming to save any work that you need to do in your editing, but this video will show you that it is possible to fix some minor issues when circumstances aren't perfect. If you found this tip helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. If you're after more ways to improve your video quality and efficiency, hit the subscribe button and check out the Primal Video channel or head over to primalvideo.com. Catch you next time.